What's up everybody, it's the Camaro guy here, and I was gonna do a car video, I promise one's coming out soon. I just don't think I have enough content at the moment to upload it. But, in the meantime, I'm gonna distract you with some Super Seducer. A great game, not necessarily about cars, but you should know about it, we've played it before. We're on number three, oh, it's jumpy. Alright, club and dance, though. let's go. Play that bass. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, she's kind of pretty. What does she have written on her arm? <laughs> Man, I look like such a nerd. Alright, uh... <laughs> Alright, let's see. Opinion opener about which present to get your baby sister. Right on the dance floor? Bad idea. Verbally openly, uh, non-verbally open by catching her attention. Uh, maybe. Like if you're dancing or something. Hip bumper? <laughs> that sounds fun, but no. For <laughs> guitar. Yeah, I don't know about any of these answers, man. Uh, I guess I'd say B. I'm gonna put it in the top left as usual. But I kind of want to see what twerk attack is. So let's go. Hey. <laughs> and she lost interest quick. Look at that. Hey, that chick in the background's laughing. She might be. It's one of my friend Alex's moves. Um, he does it when he's very, very drunk and doesn't work too well. Yeah, I bet the only time a dude would do that is if he was drunk. I'm gonna go right in and non-verbally open by catching her attention, I guess. I don't know how that's gonna be. Is he gonna do like the Carlton or something? I don't know, let's see. Hey. Yeah. In a noisy environment, you don't want to be too conversational, so starting by catching her attention non-verbally is the right choice. Yep. Which club is this empty? Who is this like? I don't know. Yeah, work it. No. Uh, quickly introduce yourself and continue dancing. I kind of want to see what goes on in the dance-off. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> Not bad, but I think I still won. It was bad. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. This is something you can try, but it could be a little bit safer if you chose something else. In this case, if you can pull it off, it can work really well, but sometimes it just won't. Yeah. To be fair, that wasn't what I was going to say was my answer. I just really wanted to see it. And I guess it could work out, so go out there and start dancing with some chicks. Start a dance off. Moonwalk, <laughs> Moonwalk away just confused the shit out of her. Uh, dance closer to her. I'd probably dance closer, but let's just see what Moonwalk away does. I want to see that dumb dumb face on her. Let's go. Bye bye. Moonwalk? Really? <laughs> hey, it was <laughs> it was a good moonwalk, so I give you credit for that. Uh, let's dance closer. Yeah, some good music right here. I said I'm moving too far. Hey. If you're just dancing kind of near her, then you know she could move away. So you want to escalate a little bit, get a little bit closer. Yep. Uh, suggest you go get a drink or try to kiss her. No, that's a bad idea. Ask if she wants to sit down because she must be tired from dancing in heels. Uh, I'd say, hey, you want to go get a drink? 
I wouldn't say something about feels. I don't know, that just sounds kind of, uh, kind of off a little bit. So I'd say A. Let's go. I'm thirsty. Let's go get a drink. Yeah, sure. Hey. All right. Perfect, because you're always waiting for the time on the dance floor to get off of there because you, you know, there's only so much you can do in that noisy, busy place. And the right time to do it is when the music changes and it's a lame track. <laughs> much agreed. All right. You really like dancing, eh? I do. Hey. Yeah, very much. But you seem sober. It's strange. Why are you in the club and you still seem sober? <laughs> I can't dance as well if I drink too much. <laughs> All right, well, we started now, so. Yeah, now it's okay. okay. No, I'm not standing. And I think, I saw you, obviously, I saw you on the dance floor, but I think before, did I see you in the smoking area? Was that you? Yeah, probably. Oh. Oh. You don't like smoking? Nah, smoking sucks. Say you were into harder drugs. Nah. Tell her you don't like smoking, but it's her choice. That's probably what I'd do. Uh, tell her it's a bad habit and she should quit. <laughs> Okay, nobody likes a, a stick up their butt type dude when you're in a place like that. Uh, tell her there's no problem even if you don't smoke. Nah, I, I think you should be honest. I'd say C. Let's go. Uh, I don't really think any of these are funny. I think harder drugs. Well, especially here in New Mexico. You might actually get a chick that's into that and that might not work out too well. So, yeah, let's go C. Well, I don't smoke, but, you know, it's your choice. But I do hope one day you'll quit. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on it. I'm yeah? On it. Much smoother than just being... On one hand, no, you don't, don't want to nag her. And on the other hand, you don't want to tell her it's great if you don't think it is. So this is the correct middle ground and it's the right choice. Well done. Thank you. And so you smoke, but do you have any other bad habits? Or is that it? Like... I think it's the only real bad one. I can be messy sometimes if that's a bad habit. I don't chew my nails or anything. Compulsive gambler or no, something like that. Thief. Like, <laughs> what is it? What is it? What's the word for the people that have to steal things? Like, necro it's like a, necro something? That's people that have sex with dead people. <laughs> Check it, necrophiliac, yeah? No. Uh, Not that. And I was I thinking narcolepsy, that. but that's the sleeping one. But there's definitely one for stealing stuff. There is. Um, so, do you have any bad habits? I kind of want to see how she reacts to like to how you like to inflict pain on people. That sounds like a real good response. So let's just go with that. But well, my real answer is A. It should be in the corner. Let's go. Well, since you asked, I mean, I don't think it's bad, but it could sound a little extreme, but I like to inflict pain on people. Then I like to just persecute them. That's actually no. um, very but bad scary. people. Bad people. No. So it's good in a way. No. So maybe it's a good habit. No, I don't think so. Well, you'll see. I mean, spend more time with me. Uh, I've got some projects not. I'm doing now with no. some people. And... No, no, I think I need to find my friends. Yeah, go oh. look for your friends. Are you sure you want to do that and make an enemy of me? <laughs> you know what? There's a chance she would have been She's into in it. in trouble now, isn't she? Yes, yeah, she is. But really, in reality, man should never use his superior strength or whatever to intimidate a girl. Um, violence has no place and it's really a bitch move. It is a bitch move. But there's a chance she would have been into it, you know, if she was like into BTSM type stuff. No, that's Black Tiger Sex Machine. BDSM type stuff. Man, I get those two confused all the time. All right, let's go with the real answer, my honest response. Well, I don't think I have anything too bad, but it depends what you think. So I don't know, like sometimes I might smoke weed. Um, <laughs> haven't tried like super hard drugs, but a couple, couple drugs. And aside from that, I don't know, sometimes I can be really harsh with people. There you go. Excellent. In this <coughs> case, you want to have some honesty and, you know, sometimes the honesty can be shocking, surprising, but it has an interesting effect on her attraction levels. They're likely to go up. Yeah. So tell me, do you have any good habits or like healthy stuff you do? <laughs> yeah, um, I dance a lot. Yeah. I like to go hiking. Yoga, do you have a dream of like climbing Everest or Kilimanjaro or something no, like this? No, it's too cold. <laughs> and I agree. It's too cold, I like to be warm. But I have some friends that climb Kilimanjaro and they're just regular people. Like they started in no. the morning and they got to the top by sunset or they had help. nightfall. Yeah, of course, they're guys carrying everything, but I don't it think seems I would like it. it's kind of easy. No, you no? would do it. Uh, I like to think I would. <laughs> so, sports, I like. I tried climbing recently. Is that Kanye West in the background? Squash, used to play tennis, but I guess now I just 
go to the gym a few times a week and that's about it. You go to the gym? Really? <laughs> well, is that hard to believe? Man, I work out all the time, but I look like a stick. Ask what the hell is she talking about? <laughs> you go to the gym all the time. You know what, that's a good answer if you could make it playful. Say that you get too much attention from girls as it is, a six pack would just be overkill. I guess that's kind of teasing and friendly. Probably go with B, but I do it in like a playful way. I can't tell if this game means playful or not. The answers are kind of eh. But yeah, let's go with B. If not, I'd probably say C because it's friendly as well. But I, I'd overall pick B, so I'd probably pick B in the corner over there. Let's go. Are you sure? Yeah, of course. What are you talking about? Look, I've got... I mean, I just don't have all these stupid protein shakes and stuff. But I'm there all the time pumping iron. I'm actually Let's quite... See. You flex? See naked or just see touching? Oh my. <laughs> Alright, now I'll touch and later we'll see. Hey, okay, there you maybe go. you go. Of course I go. A little. <laughs> Mm, you're getting defensive, aren't you? So, not the best thing, not the quality that a guy wants to show, is it? Well, I'm trying to guess. It I depends mean, on if you're playful or not. It depends on if you're playful or not. I think if you're really playful about it, you could pull it off, kind of like teasing. What did you study at university? Um, I actually studied dance. Dance? I you, stu you studied? I did. Dance. Yeah. I didn't know they had that. <laughs> <laughs> I know they have like ballet schools and stuff that you it's, can study. Uh, there's music at the university too. It's an uh, art school. Um, but oh. yes, dance, uh, ballet, um, jazz. This is a good song right here. Yeah, yeah, cool. Just <laughs> a lot of things. Usher, usher. Yes, yeah? exactly. Exactly like that. Like we were here. Nice mm -hmm. one. And um, so that was university, but what's your job now? Are you something, I a actually dancer own or a something? dance studio. Obviously, she teaches strippers. Maybe. No, not maybe. <laughs> that's a that's a fun one to pick, but no. Can connect on it and compliment her. I'd say it's about time to compliment. Let's go B. You know what? I really like that because it's something entrepreneurial and it's something where you're really doing something you're passionate about, yeah. right? And tell me, what who do you teach? Children. Yeah, children. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I Good love thing it. you didn't like say anything about strippers. Ballet for little stuff. girls, like five. It's so cute, yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five to ten. <laughs> and they actually love it as well. Yeah, we have um, we have a dance at the end of every class. Uh, in a way, I'm showing my dance moves on YouTube. This is undoubtedly a cool thing about her, so you definitely need to connect on it and compliment it because she's going to have a lot to say, a lot of emotions in there, and you want to be positive. Yes, she would. I just noticed you got some tattoos. Oh, my eye. Yeah, yeah, what do they say? I wanted to know that from the start. It says that she likes to have sex with multiple men at once. As funny as that is, I don't think that would work out too well. Say that you don't really like them. Ask the idea behind it. I personally like the story behind tattoos. Like, if they're just generic, meh, I don't really care. But if they actually have a story, I want to know all about it. So I'd ask the idea behind it. This is interesting. You've got, like, coordinates here. <laughs> yeah. what, what's that? Is some, something special there? It is. Uh, I went to Iceland, and ah. those are coordinates for my favorite waterfall from the trip. Nice, I get it. Cool. <laughs> I was like, what's that? But it makes perfect sense. <laughs> yeah, it's strange. There you go. If someone has an interesting tattoo, there's usually a story behind it. They're going to be uh, used to telling the story, but then by handling it in the right way, you'll still make them feel good and have a good moment of connection. <laughs> <laughs> what is it that you do? Uh, it's kind of kind of strange, right? So I'm not I'm not like an accountant or whatever. So um, it's. I make videos for YouTube, so okay. I could say I'm um, like a YouTube professional. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of videos? What do you mean? Different videos, like in different subjects, giving advice about health and different okay. things. And then uh, it kind of makes money by the advertising and, you know, when there's those annoying ads in YouTube. Yes, interesting. So. Well, I did notice that you were very well groomed. Oh, thank um, you. I was hoping it didn't mean that you were into men. What? Are you saying that? If you're well groomed, you're gay. I'm not very well groomed. I just kind of go out how I am, and I just I just don't really care how I look. To be honest, I just kind of throw on clothes, usually of like my favorite car, or, or like a band shirt, or some stupid design that I got from a gift or Spencer's or something. Just something stupid that I could just wear. I don't really care much about looks. In fact, the fanciest shirt I got is a 
Hawaiian shirt that I got as a gift from my grandma. <laughs> yes, you got me um, ultra super gay and then start touching her up. <laughs> I guess that's one way to get close to her, but... So you're homophobic? No, that's cool. I No, I'm straight. Okay. To be honest, I'd probably joke and call her homophobic. Definitely not something serious. Well, so what if I were? Like, are you homophobic or what? No, I just... Come on. Sitting here, I would just hope that you liked me. I just, you know, mm. want you to be into me. Oh. Hey, she's into That's it. That's alright. So you're not homophobic. <laughs> That's cool. No. So my no. gay friends are safe. You're not going <laughs> to yes. attack them or anything. They're safe. Nice one. Hey. Well, no. To clarify, I'm I'm not I'm not gay. I'm straight. She challenged you. You got a little bit reactive, a little bit angry. Not the best course of action. I want to see However, the right one. For it that. ended okay in the end. So it's not the worst thing that you can do. But still, try next time to stay cool and roll with these challenges in a better way. I want to know the answer um, to that, you know, when you... because she was very into it for like a whole second there. She was talking about, oh, well, I'm glad you're not gay. Wink, wink. Sometimes. Is it usually in clubs? Because for me, it's definitely mm. not. Um, no, I, I try not to. Um, it's not the best, right? No, it doesn't always seem like the most honest environment to meet someone. Yeah. No. Nah. Well, most people going to clubs, they're just looking for something that's not serious, right? That's the right. general thing. <laughs> yeah, or to have fun with their friends yeah. only. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I try not to. You want to escalate things, alright. Brush your hair back and tell her she has cute little ears. Oh, like little holes in her head? No. Grab her ass, that sounds fun. Look at her mouth as she is talking. Why would you look at her mouth? You want to have good eye contact, you don't want to be staring at her mouth. I'd probably feel a little weird if some chick started staring at my mouth, I'd think I have something in my teeth. Uh, tell her she is really turning you on and you want to kiss her. The ear thing, but... I don't know. They're all kind of weird. Like, I don't think the ear thing is the smartest thing either, but it's the best out of all these. They're all kind of stupid. So let's go away. Can I just... You just got a little bit... Yeah. Little bit sure. Nice, nice <laughs> hair, by the way. Thank you. Cute little ears. <laughs> Kids in a way. <laughs> Thank you. Exactly. So what have you got here? You've got playfulness and a little bit of sexuality, which is the perfect way to escalate things physically. So I actually didn't ask, but what did you study in school? Well, to be honest, I didn't go to university, but it's just because um, I didn't really like school. Everyone called me ugly, so it was it was just unhappy. But it's okay. I'm alright now. But you're very. Alvin happy. and the Chipmunks are singing right now. Uh. Sorry, I was talking about the song. Thank you, you have beautiful eyes. But I think overall you should just accept a compliment and leave it at that. But I don't know. I think saying you have beautiful eyes, you get to turn the attention on her. and I don't know, you get to point it out. I used that beautiful eyes line once and it led right to a... Uh, it led to good stuff, so... I have good experience with A, but... I don't know. Yeah, let's go A. Why not? I'll stick with what I know. I have beautiful lines. Beautiful lines. Beautiful eyes line works because I've used it before. And it led right to our first kiss. So let's go. Oh, thank you. And I was going to say, you have really beautiful eyes. <laughs> thank you. You must yes. hear that a lot, but it's, it's true. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But thank you. It's nice. Hmm, not good because she actually made the first move. She's given you a compliment. That's brilliant. You want to keep that dynamic going as long as possible. Where you just say thank you and you stay polite and she just keeps saying nice things about you. That's exactly what she's I said. Get your approval back. It makes her think about you when you're not together. It makes her work harder for you, show off, do all kinds of things. So you want to keep that dynamic and you messed up. So. Yeah. What? Did you see this? Hold on. Uh... Future me, editing me, show me show me a picture of that girl's dress. She had like the biggest zipper on the world just in front and it made me laugh a little bit. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So that you have beautiful eyes line has worked for me, but I also used it in a better situation. But I kind of want to see how it would work here. Cheers, by the way. <laughs> Cheers. Nice, nice to, to meet you. Meet you. <laughs> hmm. 
I know we haven't been talking for long, but it, to me it's, um, it's going pretty well so far, so I'm yeah. happy I came and talked to you. Me too. <laughs> I wouldn't have said that. Chill back, take things slow, and go back to mundane stuff. That's stupid, why would you do that? So obviously D is the right answer, in my opinion. Let's see. By the way, I probably should have asked earlier, but are you seeing anyone at the moment? Or? <laughs> yeah, we should have talked about that, I guess. Yeah, um, why? Got, got something to tell me? <laughs> no, no, I'm not seeing anyone. That's good. I am, actually. I'm married. Really? No, I'm joking. No, I'm, oh, I'm, si <laughs> I'm single as well. It's oh, cool. good. You didn't need to ask her that, did you? You know, much better to keep it unspoken and assume that if she's going with it, she likes you. Dude, she's not, but the other answers right? were, they sucked. What the hell? Uh, the other answers completely sucked, but I guess you could say something else. Suggest that you eat somewhere, that summer will be your place. Ask if she wants to, wow, you really want to take her home. I guess it's about that time for this dude. Uh, suggest going to the after party. Friends are coming, she can invite her friends. Bad idea, you don't ever want to invite your friends if you're trying to take her home. Suggest you go to a place with better music and great wine, aka your house. Ask if she wants to go to your house. Uh, suggest you leave and go eat somewhere. I think the eating line is a little bit better because then you're out going somewhere and you can smoothly bring it into that. Yeah. I would say somewhere with better music and great wine, but I don't drink and that'd be kind of weird. I'm usually the designated driver when you go to places like this because I usually take friends. But... I don't know, I guess that would be a better answer than suggest you go eat somewhere. So, uh, between A or B. I don't think any of these would really be funny, so let's go B. I don't know what you think about this place, but the music's kind of yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's not so good. And drink's not so good either, but right. I know somewhere with really good music and nice drinks as well. Maybe not come with you tonight, but um, give you my number. See you again. Okay, cool. I'll probably get going <laughs> soon anyway, but give you my phone. Um, Put your number in there. You don't want to make the invitation to your house explicit, you want to make it implicit so that she can agree to it without feeling like a slut. Well done. There you go. I probably, yeah, average Joe. Man, that one's In a noisy though. environment, you don't want to be too conversational, All right. so. Shut up. Alright, so that one sucked because, like, some of the answers sucked. I guess I'll see you later. Uh, subscribe if you want to subscribe. But I'll see you again later. I hope I do see you again later because it's very fun and I enjoy interacting with you people. So, goodbye. I hope you enjoyed. See you later.